So I've boiled two pounds of potatoes. I like to mix the white and the red potatoes. And what I'm going to do is just slice these really thickly. These are almost done. And then what I'm going to do while it's still warm, this gives it so much flavor, is about two tablespoons, but a nice splash of white wine. You can use leftover wine from dinner last night. And a splash of chicken stock. And while the potatoes are still warm, it really gets into the potatoes. Big spoon, just toss it all together. Some salt and pepper. You want the potatoes just to have as much flavor as possible before you start. So that's the potatoes. And the next thing I'm going to make is the vinaigrette. So the key ingredients for a good vinaigrette are good vinegar and good olive oil. I'm going to do, this is champagne vinegar. But if you have good cider vinegar or white wine vinegar, it's great. I just wouldn't use red wine vinegar for this. And then I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. and salt and pepper. For some reason, I think Americans are really sort of daunted by vinaigrette. It's the easiest thing in the world and so much better than that bottled stuff you get. And then slowly pour good olive oil into this. And you make an emulsion. The mustard seems to emulsify the vinaigrette so it stays together. Kind of like I'm making a mayonnaise. Just do the olive oil slowly. Great. So this is just going to go on the potatoes, just to flavor them. And that's all going to soak into those warm potatoes. And the rest I'm going to save for later. And now the last thing is lots of fresh herbs. And that's what gives the potatoes such a fresh flavor. So we have chopped scallions. Chop them already. Give them another rough cut. I really like when they're roughly cut. I don't like them to be so precision-like that you don't actually see what it is. It just gives you a sense that there are scallions in it. Look how gorgeous this looks. And fresh basil, just take the leaves off. And you can either do this with a rough chop or you can do it julienne, but I think I'm just gonna do it roughly chopped. Okay, lots of fresh basil. And then fresh dill. It's a great way to take leaves off the dill. It's just run your knife along the and it takes all those leaves off without pulling them off one by one. And then the longer this soaks in the fridge and the longer it sits, the better it tastes. So mm. potatoes are really tender, but they're still firm enough so they have flavor. You could use a little more salt. That's my motto. It always needs more salt. A little more pepper, bring out the flavors. And it's going to be just delicious. On that big platter with our salad and the soise. Done.